What's up everybody, welcome back. I got a different type of video for us here today. This thing is heavy. Yeah, let's uh, check it out. So I have a Jeep and you can't have a Jeep without a winch. So a bunch of my buddies got together and got me this Badlands 12,000 pound winch. I'm super excited about it. ASMR action here. It's from Harbor Freight. But uh, it does 12,000 pounds. It's got all the ratings, IP69, which I think is for fast moving water. It's got the IP68. And I went with the braided steel because that's what my boys bought me. So thanks again, everybody. It's also got a wireless remote and 31.5 feet of line retention in per minute, I believe it is. Uh, all the sides are pretty much the same. Nothing really special to see there. So we're not going to go over all the sides. But let's get it open. So, okay, the packaging looks pretty good. One of the things I was pretty impressed with was the pamphlets and the material that go with it. It had some safety instructions, how to use the winch correctly and all that. We're not going to go into that in this video, but shout out to Harbor Freight for making some pretty decent packaging material and brochures and all that stuff. So, and obviously you have to have a bunch of stickers. Remember each one of those is five horsepower. Not really, but... <laughs> All right, so getting into the first package, even though the remote is wireless, it comes with a wired option as well, in case you run out of batteries or whatnot. Pretty awesome. Got a box here. I think this is for relocating the solenoid. So if you want to put the solenoid in the engine bay or whatnot, you don't have exposed terminals. Pretty awesome. Here's the remote itself. It's not amazing, but it uh, seems like it gets the job done. Got a little cover on here that comes right off. I guess that's to protect it from water. Um, so it operates wirelessly and wired. You just hold the button down for three seconds on the top and it connects you. The actuation of the in and out feels pretty good. It's got a magnet on the bottom so you can place it down and not have it roll away. The magnet's pretty good. This cover goes right back on. Not bad. This forged hook is awesome. Um, I don't know what it is about these things. I just love the way they look. It's pretty, pretty beefy too. So good job, Badlands. Oh yeah, we got this little lanyard that goes on the hook as well. I guess that's so you can grab it and pull on it. So you're not grabbing the hook itself. It's funny, I didn't know what this was at first. I thought it was a license plate bracket, but it's to, it's for the solenoid in case you want to relocate that. Like I said before, uh, it all goes on there. Oh, I missed, missed a little box here. This is pretty awesome, and I'll go into more details to why I like it so much later, but this is a power cutoff. This goes close to the battery and allows you to turn off the power to the winch so that you are not running unfused, unprotected, low gauge wire to the front of the vehicle all the time. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit more later, but um, yeah, this is a pretty cool little inclusion. Didn't have to do that. I don't know if other winches do it, but this seems pretty solid, and I'm glad they included it. All right, getting to the meat and potatoes here. Got the roller fair lead, just like any other winch. Super heavy duty. Will protect your line from getting beat up. All the accoutrement, the bolts and nuts and all that stuff. We got more power lines here. I'm guessing some of these are extra for if you do want to relocate the solenoid so that it's got plenty of wire for it. All looks high quality. And now we get to the main portion of the show here, the winch itself. I started with the back. I always wonder why all the winches have an extra ground that is not just connected. I don't know. I guess it's for that relocation thing we were talking about. But uh, yeah, I can't not connect this thing, so I'm going to connect it right now. And one of the things I really like is the covering on this wire. So this is your power line, obviously. I had a situation where my winch line snapped a bunch of years ago and when it snapped it frayed and it actually cut the wire and caused fire so it's cool that they cover the power line and they also include that switch we were talking about before because that would have definitely saved me some trouble if i was able to cut the power and here's the bottom pretty much just like every other winch your nuts your square nuts go in the bottom and your bolts go through so uh yeah pretty straightforward pretty simple i can't wait to use this thing i'm sure i'll get a lot of use out of it and uh, thank you guys all for stopping by and checking this out. Slightly different format. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If not, hit the thumbs down. As always, I appreciate the subscription. Peace.